Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows Moon Valley RTM. We actually took a look at Windows Moon Valley RC3 back in December of 2024. However, since then, the RTM version has come out. It's the last version of Moon Valley, according to the developer, and I'm eager to take a look at it. From what I recall, the RC3 version was very polished. There were a few bugs, but I really like that version. So I'm really eager to see what RTM brings, how polished it is, because supposedly it is much more polished than the RC3 build. The one thing that I remember and the one thing we're seeing now is just how clean this setup screen is. Just look at the loading bar right here, the loading wheel. That is so much more modern than what we see in Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11 combined. I don't really like this kind of beveled, embossed level like window here, but this is just a setup screen. But just pay attention to how modern everything is, how nice everything is. I mean, Windows, Microsoft should definitely take notes. Granted, this is the older installer, not the new one that comes in Windows 11 24H2, but we're now starting installation and we'll be back once we're in the out of box experience. All right, and here we are on the home screen out of box experience for Moon Valley RTM. We can see that it doesn't look that much different from what we see in traditional Windows 11, except the icons on the left, or the animations rather. This one is the same, but the first two we saw, I don't recall actually seeing those in any real versions of Windows 11. Of course, Microsoft's going to take forever on this screen to check for updates, and then we'll come back once we are in, I believe the next step is to ask us for a user account. Alright, and here we are, so we're going to go ahead and skip naming the device because I don't want our device to restart here. And we're then going to set up for work in school only because we can bypass using a Microsoft account this way. Um, we just click domain join and then it lets us create a local account. I don't know why I named the account local, but okay, something went wrong. Let's go ahead and try Windows instead of local. Maybe there's a blacklist on that name or something. Yep, it appears that way. We'll just click next on these privacy settings and we should almost be done with the out of box experience and we should be brought into the desktop here very shortly. But of course we have to check for updates once again. All right, and here we are on the desktop of Windows Moon Valley RTM. And if I didn't explain already, what Moon Valley does is it brings Windows 11 and themes it to be like Windows 10. So as you can see, obviously there's some quality of life improvements we'll take a look at, but I mean, this is the Windows 10 taskbar, the Windows 10 start menu. We are seeing so many elements of Windows 10 while running on a core of Windows 11. So let's go ahead and start on the right side of the taskbar. We have our show desktop button. We have our notification center, which does look like Windows 11 in a way. We have those rounded icons. We have our calendar, which is like a Windows 10. Yeah, it is a Windows 10 calendar. Um, we can see the fonts are a little different. And I do like how the time and the date are next to each other instead of on top of each other. That's nice. We have our volume control, which is really nice that it's separate from our network control. Both are themed like more modern versions of Windows 10's volume and network control. Then instead of a upward arrow, we have three dots that brings up VMware tools, which I installed OneDrive, Safely Remove, Bluetooth devices, and Windows security. Moving over to the left side of the taskbar, we have our Windows Store which notice that animation right there. Um, I believe I pointed this out in the first video, but it kind of fades in. Um, like it's a similar animation to what was in an earlier build of Windows technical preview for Windows 10, like build 9000 something, like a very early build. We then have Microsoft Edge. We have the file explorer that we'll take a look at in just a minute. We then have our task view um, and then Cortana, our search bar, and then our start menu. Before we get into those elements though, let's take a look here in mod notes and we'll get some more information. This is the finale of this build. Test mode is no longer needed. Almost all bugs are fixed. The base is up to .2538, which is the build number of Windows 11. The 11 style search is back. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, new icons and a controversial choice. We removed rounded flyouts and SM for improved consistency of sharp corners. And then here are some potential bugs, uh, other things to look at uh, while we're looking at this OS. Let's move into our file explorer as promised. First of all, I just have to say I really do love that fly-in animation. It looks nice, and that's something I think Windows 11 should have. But obviously when we're theming Windows 11 like Windows 10, we wanted it to look like Windows 10. Um, and they did a very good job. The ribbon bar at the top is the Windows 10 style instead of the Windows 11 style. We don't have uh, tabs anymore but it's more modern in a way, like these icons are different and it just feels more modern. It feels like if Windows 10 in 2025. We then have the new 
icons inside of like the older icons. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know a better way to explain it. Like these are the Windows 11 icons and I, I'm just gonna stop trying to explain it because obviously I'm not doing a very good job. Here we can see, this is really nice. I like this gradient of you know how full our disk is. Um, and I like the, I really do like the font of this OS. It is really nice. And my add the disk right click menu looks a lot like Linux Mint's right click menu. I mean, that's the first thing I thought of. This looks a lot like Linux Mint. Well, let's go to properties. We can see that we're using 21.8 gigs of 59.2. So again, a typical Windows 11 installation. As we saw in the mod notes, this is the Windows 11 style search. I actually do like this. Um, I like it a lot better than Windows 10, except the padding at the top here is a little messy, uh, mostly because you're using Windows 11 search in what's supposed to be Windows 10. Over here on the start menu, these animations just look different. I don't know why. Um, additionally, our start menu tiles, they have rounded corners, so square corners, and they don't you know, have a hover effect when I hover over them. That's definitely something that I recognize from Windows 10. Um, over here in apps, by all means, this is not supposed to be a tiny version of Windows. We have alarms and clock, calculator, calendar, camera, Cortana, feedback hub, file explorer, get help, get started, mail, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Store, Notepad, Office, OneDrive, Paint, Photos, Settings, Snipping Tool, Tips, Voice Recorder, Weather, Ease of Access, Media Player, which has a new icon, but it's still the older. I just wanted to see like what version of Media Player this was, but oh wait. It's like a kind of glitched Media Player, like these are nice new icons, but the rest of it's kind of old. I'm not sure what the purpose or the goal of that is. Windows Security, always love to see Windows Security included in builds. Windows Terminal, Windows Tools, Xbox, and your phone. All relatively normal for Windows 10 and Windows 11. But yeah, the task, the start menu itself is very similar to Windows 10. Opening up settings, we can see that we do have the settings window from the Windows 10 OS and not Windows 11, which I personally prefer Windows 11 settings a lot more over this. But hey, let's go into about and let's see that we're running Moon Valley 21H2. So yeah, 22,000.2538. This is still 21H2 Windows 11. It would be really nice if we'd be able to see this even up to 24H2, but the developer has stated that this is the last build of Moon Valley, so I highly doubt that we'll be able to take a look at a 24H2 Moon Valley unless someone else picks up the project. In terms of CPU and RAM usage, yet again, I'm right-clicking this taskbar and I'm just getting major Linux, I mean specifically Linux Mint feeling from these context menus. Going into Task Manager, we can see that this is the Windows 10 Task Manager. It is rethemed, though, of course. Um, probably, I would assume it's rethemed because, you know, newer fonts. And when I click on things, they fly in, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're going to take a look at CPU. We're idling it a little above 10% CPU. Now we're dropping down to 3, 6. Typical Windows CPU utilization never can really state a solid number. And in terms of memory, as it flies in from the left, we are seeing 3.5 out of 8 gigs, so 44% while pretty much being idle. So not great, um, but remember, we're running all these other things like the acrylic menus. We're running so many things to make this OS what it is. And then, of course, I just noticed we have gadgets. So this isn't a Windows 10 thing. This is more of a Windows 7 thing. We could add various gadgets to our home screen. So if I wanted to put you know, time there, you know, a CPU meter, uh, maybe a calendar even. I mean, we can throw whatever sort of app launcher. Why not? We can throw all sorts of different widgets onto our desktop, and I can rearrange them just like that. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.